Hello everyone, welcome to Wizardist. In this video, we are going to learn HTML5. I have already posted a video on this HTML5 topic in which we have learned what is HTML, how to use Notepad as an HTML editor, how to start and end an HTML file, basic syntax of HTML, paragraph and heading tags, basic formatting, basic CSS, CSS versus HTML CSS. Now, I would advise you to see that video first so you're clear with what is HTML and all these basics. I'll be sharing the link in the description below so you can check the video there, see it and then continue with, with this video in which we are going to learn how to use Visual Studio Code as an HTML editor. So this is a programming language editor given by Microsoft. How to create a simple web page, inline CSS, which we are going to learn in more detail because we have already done this in the previous video. Adding pictures using HTML, open tags in which we are going to learn about BR, links. So there are multiple types of links, but today we are going to learn about hyperlinks. Lists, which is UL tag and OL tag, and the block element, which is the div element. Now here, some words you might not be understanding, a few terms like BR, hyperlinks, UL, OL, div, etc. But don't worry, I'll be explaining them through this video. Okay, so this is the web page that we are going to make. Now here, I'm using the word web page because a web page is just a single page on the web, but a website is a multiple web pages connected to each other through buttons, links, etc. But as we're making only just one page, which is not connected to any other page, web page, we are going to name this as a web page. But if it was connected to multiple web pages, then it would have been a website. Now, before starting with the coding, let's know how we can download Visual Studio Code. So first we have to click on the link given in the description box. So I'll be sharing you a link to download Visual Studio Code. You have to click on that. A website will open in which you have to click on the download button. Now there will be three to four download buttons. So you have to select it according to your operating system. Then you have to choose a file location. It will ask you to download a .exe file and then you have to choose the file location. Then you have to save it. After that, open the exe file and run it. Then it will be installed onto your computer. Then open Studio Code and pin it to the taskbar. Here, pinning it to the taskbar is optional, but I'm telling it so that it will be easy for you in the future to access this application. And here is the logo of Studio Code, Visual Studio Code because most of the time it is confused with Visual Studio 2019. But we don't want that. We want Visual Studio Code. Okay, so now let's get started. Okay, now I have opened Visual Studio Code. When you open Visual Studio Code for the first time, you will be able to see this welcome screen. If you have already opened a file or folder before, it will be showing those contents over here. But I have opened this for the first time, so it's showing me uh, this welcome screen. Here it will be showing a start panel, wherein it will ask you to open a new file. Open a file already stored on, on your computer. Open a folder in which it will show all the HTML files, images, or whatever is stored in that folder. Or run a particular command. Now, if you are opening it for the first time, you will not be able to see this recent tab wherein it is showing which files you and folders you have opened on Visual Studio Code earlier. But I have already opened this multiple times, so it's showing me it over here. Now, I'm going to click on open a folder. It will open a pop-up box where it is asking you which folder you want to open. So just select that folder and click on this a select folder option. And then it will open it. Here it will show you whatever HTML files, images, etc. you have. So here I already have an HTML file and this picture of the mobile which we are going to use in our website. Now 
but let's first start with the coding like in the last video I had told you you are going to need uh, a HTML file in which you're going to start it with the HTML tags and end it and all those things so for that you have to click on this icon over here which when you hover over it you will be able to see the new file when you click on it it will ask you to name a file so just write anything I'm going to write it as mobile reviews because that's what you need And remember, we need to put a dot .html as well, dot .html. If we do not put this dot .html over here, it will create a text file, but we need a HTML file. So we are going to put dot .html. Then I'll click on the enter button and then a new blank HTML file will be created. Now we need to add the basic syntax of HTML, which is that doc type HTML, HTML head and title, etc. But as we are using this uh, editor, you don't need to manually write those all. Just put the exclamation mark and enter. When you do this, you will be able to see the basic syntax. You will also be able to see something extras like this meta chasset and all. Now these are used for higher standard coding, but you can let it be just in case you want to add something extra to it. I'm not going to delete it, but if you're uncomfortable with it, you can surely delete it because there is no need for these meta chassets in today's code. Here in HTML tag, you must be seeing something extra, language English. Now this is also optional, but when you do higher coding, you need it. I'm going to remove it for the time being. Here in the title, you are seeing the default name as document, but I'm going to change it to mobile reviews. Mobile reviews. Okay, because this is going to tell us the mobile reviews. Now here we are going to start with our body. Now for this, first of all, we are going to define the body style in which we need a background color. So for body, we are going to write style equals to and in the double quotes, we are going to write background color which is, you can choose any color. There are multiple options over here. You can even go to the color picker and choose it from there. Okay, but I already know what I have to choose. Okay, so this is um, what I want. This is the color. Okay, it is like creamish color, lightish yellow. Now, after setting the background color, now we are going to put the heading, which is going to be the mobile reviews heading. And like in the last video we had learned, we are going to use the H1 tag for headings. Also, you must be observing that as you're using this editor, whenever you start a tag, it will automatically end it for you. Like over here, it has ended the H1 tag automatically for us. Here, we are going to write mobile reviews all right now um, below this we are going to put the image of the mobile that we are reviewing now this is the new thing that we're going to learn today for adding images for this you use the img or the image tag first we write img which means image to tell that we are adding an image then we are going to write src this src means the source then we put an equal to sign and in double quotes, we write the name of our image. Here I have this mobile.png image, which I don't want to put. Now, a few things to remember while putting, uh, inserting an image in an HTML file is that it should be in the same folder as the HTML file. It should have the complete name. There should not be even the minutest uh, mistake in this. It should be the exact name with the exact extension, exact um, characters and everything otherwise it will throw an error okay then you're going to put an alt text now this alt text is required um, over here like we are doing it in our offline we are not we are not publishing it on the web for that if we do some kind of like error we are putting the wrong name but we don't want nothing to be shown so we're going to write an alt text which is going to be mobile inside double quotes now if the image like we have put some wrong name or if it is on the web we are it is unable to load because of some network issue instead of showing nothing it will show this alt text the alternative text mobile 
All right, I'll be explaining this ahead after running. Then, um, all right, so that's it for this. Now we're gonna put this br tag. Okay, we need to put it, but uh, as I want to explain it in detail, I will not be putting it right now. Then we need to put a link, but before doing that, I just want to show you how you can run it. For running a file in Visual Studio Code, you need to save it, of course, like in Notepad. Then right click and cl select the open with live server option. Now live server, it will open it in Google Chrome, means whatever is your default website or browser, it will open over there. Now here you can see the mobile reviews, perfect and nice. But over here, if you'll see this mobile phone is very big and we want it to fit in just small space. So as it is very, very big, we will add some height and width to it. Okay, for adding that, we are going to add a style which is in line CSS style equals to and in double quotes, we are going to write height and then whatever we height we want, we are going to write it in, we are going to write whatever height that we want. Um, I'm going to put the height as one, 150 pixels. Then I'm going to put a semicolon, then I'm going to write the width, which I'm going to put as 200 pixels. So this is it. Here, then you can see that we have got our mobile in a perfect shape. But now we want this mobile to be in the center somewhere over here. And also this mobile reviews in the center. We are going to use the style tag for both. For picture, we are going to use the margin tag, margin left. And we are going to write how much margin from the left we want. Margin left means how much space will be there on the left of the particular element. Here it is the picture. So if we put 100 pixels as the margin left, it will show a distance of 100 pixels from the left and then the image will be inserted. Let's see 100 pixels. Let me save it. And you can see that there is a difference of 100 pixels from the left corner and the image. But it's still not in the center. So I'm going to put it as 500 pixels so it becomes in the center. Look, now it is in the perfect center. Now for the mobile reviews also, the text, you can use the same method. But as it is text, you have another way of putting doing this. Style equals to, we can put as the text align. Okay, so we can use text align and then we can write center. And so it will automatically put this uh, text in the center and we do not need the margin left and all. But if you will be seeing over here, it is getting a bit unaligned with the image. So you can use this um, text align center also, but I'm going to use this margin left only so that it looks a little bit aligned with my image. Okay, because it's looking very unaligned over here margin left 500 pixels all right it has come in the center and it is aligned with the image properly now if you'll be able to see the black color is not looking a little bit good with the background i want it to be blue okay suppose i want it to be blue i am going to write even color that will also work color blue okay so as html know what the color blue is you do not need to put the rgb code or the hex code in this case now you'll be able to see that it has turned blue. Hmm, it looks pretty good. Now let's move on ahead. Now here we want to put the reviews, whatever the reviews is. So let's start putting the reviews. For writing the reviews, first we need to divide them into two good reviews and the critical reviews. For writing this, I'm going to use the H2 tag. And I'm going to write good reviews. And then there are going to be the critical reviews. All right. Now below these, we are going to write three reviews for each. For this, we are going to use lists. So here you can see that this good reviews and critical reviews have came. Now we are going to use lists. 
how can you use list now there are two types of list the ol list okay and then there is the ul list ol is the ordered list means it will show in the number wise 1 2 3 4 and ul is the unordered list which will show in bullet points any bullet points okay so now i am going to use ul for critical reviews and ol for good reviews all right now how can you add a list element so here a list is made but we need to add list elements like first second third for which we are going to use the li tag li tag this will be like the elements of the list like first i'm going to write good mobile and if you can see over here good mobile is written and as here we have defined it as an ordered list it is showing numbers like this we can add multiple elements in the list okay so like this you can keep on adding how as much as the list elements you want and now uh, here you can see one two three in an ordered list and whatever we have written inside the li is shown over here in front of the number now let's see what ol does sorry ul does ul it is the unordered list for this also we are going to use li to write the list elements okay now if you see this page we have used an ul over here which is the unordered list and inside the list element we have put hangs up all the time and as you can see it is not a number over here it is a dot which is basically a bullet like this we can add multiple um, list elements just like we have added for the ordered list all right so here i have added a few more critical reviews and if i see on the page i can see those reviews in a bullet list and the good reviews in an ordered list which is the numbering list okay so we are probably done with the basics of our web page now after doing the basics we need to add a little bit of editing we need to add a bit of formatting here you can see the mobile reviews is in the center and we want these three two things also to be in the center for this we can either give all of this like if there are text text align center and all of that le margin left but that's gonna be a lot of work so here we can use the block element which is the div element so to create we are just going to create it in the normal way and here we don't need the end tag because it's gonna end after the ul all right now how you can create this div tab simply you use how you create a tag with the angular brackets inside which you're gonna write div div now it means a division a division in this so here you cannot see anything right now but inside the html there is a block that has been created for these things now whatever will be applied to div over here it will be applied to everything in this until and unless you add something else over here so for div i'm going to put the div style as um, we're going to put the margin left which is going to be 500 pixels so here you can see that this good reviews critical reviews and everything which was inside this div it is in the center so let's just again understand what is div div is basically like a block so we can take it as a notebook so in a notebook whenever you write something it is inside the notebook no matter even if you keep it in the bookshelf in the same way this html5 is the bookshelf and this div is a notebook in this div there is particular thing related to the same subject okay like here it is the reviews in this div all right and whatever formatting we apply to this div it will be applied to all the things inside the div tag which is the good reviews critical reviews and the lists underneath them okay so here we have put did it in center and you have learned how to create a div tag as well now 
um, but we need to do a little bit more formatting because these are looking really really dull so what we're gonna do is for this h2 I'm going to put the style as color I'm gonna put the color as red okay and I don't need to do the margin left 500 pixels because it is already in the div tag and it will be automatically applied to this H2. I'm going to put the same thing for the critical reviews H2. Alright, so now, so now you can see that these have turned red over here. You can see they are red now. Now let's do a little bit of change with these lists. Now for this list, if you apply the formatting style to the OL or the UL tag, it will be applied to all the LIs underneath. So I'm going to add to this OL style as font size. Now what this font size does, it changes the size of the font. Okay, so the font good mobile, very nice picture quality and these, the size will be changed to, I'll take 20 pixels, all right. So it will be changed to 20 pixels. Now you can see that it has become a little larger compared to the one where we have not applied the formatting. So I'm gonna put the same formatting now to UL, the unordered list. So you can see that the formatting is applied. So pretty much here we are done, but we are missing something. How can we buy this mobile? For that, we're going to need a link, a link that will be inserted maybe at the bottom or maybe below this picture of the mobile phone. Okay, and this is going to be a hyperlink. Now, hyperlink, as uh, you don't must not know it, hyperlink is basically a link. When you click on it, it opens another web page and in a new tab. Okay, so let's just see how can we add it. For adding a web link or a hyperlink, we are going to put an E tag. E is used for inserting links. Now we're going to put href. Href means where it has to go to. When we click the link, which place it goes. Now inside this href can be the name of a picture, which is inside the same folder or another HTML file. But as we are using hyperlinks, we are going to put the name of a hyperlink hyperlink like when we click like if there is somewhere written uh, www.youtube.com when we click on that it will open the youtube website in the same way here we're going to put something else here i'm going to put the amazon.in link so here i have added the hyperlink of amazon.in now if you want to add up another website how do you do it you just go and search for that website like I have searched for amazon.in. Okay, then you have to click on this uh, search box above and then you'll be able to see the complete thing and copy the complete thing and then paste it over here. So you will get this hyperlink over here. All right, now um, we're just gonna end it and the A. Now this is not an open tag, like uh, it's it has an ending. So what will be here, it will be the name, like what do you want the name of the link to be? Like what text will be shown on which you will click and this hyperlink will be open. So I'm gonna put it as buy this mobile, buy this mobile. Now I'll just save it. And here you will be able to see buy this mobile option. When I click on it, it will open Amazon.in or whatever hyperlink that you have inserted. But now if you can see over here, it is opening in the same tab. If you are okay that it's opening in the same tab, it's all right. But most of the time we want it to open in another tab, in a new tab. For that, we are going to write over here, target equals to, and here we're gonna put an underscore, blank this means that blank this underscore and blank means that whenever we click on this link this a link it will be opened in a new tab not in the same tab so when i click on this it says opening in the new tab not in the same tab like earlier okay 
but as you can see it is getting off the beat and it is in the same line now here i'd like to tell you that by this mobile is a link and a link comes it does not go on to the next line automatically like you can see the image you don't need to do anything it automatically goes to the next line of the mobile reviews also you can see that this good mobile very nice picture best gaming phone these all are going to the next line automatically but this does not happen in with the case of links for links if you want them to go on the next line you use an open tag this is the br tag PR tag is very simple. It simply acts like the enter key. What happens when you click on an enter key? It goes to the next line. So similar way when you insert a PR tag, it goes to the next line. Look here now it has came to the next line. Now to align this, we are going to use the style tag and we are going to do the margin left as 500 pixels that we have done in the case of other elements. Now, if you can see that it has came in the center. So we're done with our website. It is a fully functional web, exactly not a fully functional website because only the thing that functions over here is this link, the hyperlink, which goes to amazon.in. Okay. And except for all, it's just a web page. So, but you know how to create a web page and I hope you understood everything. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section below. And I'll be sharing the link of this image in the description box below. So you can download it from there. And also uh, you can use any other image of a real phone as well if you want. Yay, we have done with it. The uh, links of the images uh, will be shared in the description below. So you can check it over there. You can even use your own images. And I hope you have understood everything that was told. Now let me give you a sneak peek of the next video on HTML. So in that video, I will be telling you how to create a website. Means it will be a collection of multiple web pages that you will code yourself. Then you're going to learn how you can create a table in HTML and using links. Now this is not going to be hyperlinks, but links which will be linking other HTML files in the same folder. We will be elaborating the style tag which I have told you in the previous video, the first video of HTML. Then we will learn how to add a favicon. So basically a favicon is the image that comes above over here. Then you're gonna learn how to add a background image. In this video and even in the previous video, you have seen how to add a color for the background. But in the next video, you're gonna learn how can you add a image for the background. Then we're gonna start a little bit with JS, which is JavaScript, which is going to be the script tag and only the introduction. We're not going to do anything in detail about it. And much more. I'll be adding many more things in the next video. So till then, thank you, everyone. Hope you like this video. So don't forget to give thumbs up. And if you have any doubt at all, you can ask it in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe my channel viz artist thank you everyone till then bye bye